Hey guys, it's Don here from Nova Spirit Tech and welcome back to our channel. And today we are gonna be checking out the latest product from Raspberry Pi Foundation, which is the POE Plus hat. So let's get started. I do want to thank Raspberry Pi Foundation for sending this over to me. Uh, it is something I actually had to keep my mouth shut about uh, because I knew about this for weeks. And when I was doing my 10 inch server rec project, a lot of you guys were commenting, why not use the POE? So I did come up with other ideas on what I could do to power Raspberry Pi on the 10 inch rack besides the POE. But now here it is. So they call this the POE plus. So what's the difference between this version and the previous version that they released in 2018? And one of the biggest things is the power. Now on the previous version it was still using 802.3 AF which allows a maximum wattage of 15.4. Now this new version of the head is allowed to use 802.3 AT which allows a maximum wattage of 25.5 which is a huge difference because the biggest problem with the first version release while it was powerful enough to power the Raspberry Pi and use anything you can once you start putting something into the USB port like a hard drive or two hard drives or something that takes a lot of wattage from the port itself that's where it's not able to support it now the new board is supposed to remedy that with this new higher wattage now it is backwards compatible so if you are still on a 802.3 AF uh, it could still use that version while also being able to use the new version if you upgrade your switch they've also completely redesigned this and if you take a look between this version and the previous version you would notice that the fan has moved position and the big transformer has moved from one side to the opposite side all the way to the end now they are using a brand new transformer and also a brand new microchip to control this guy which also helps with the heat now taking a look at this part you can notice all the heat is towards the back and actually because of all these new chipsets and the transformer uh, the heat is reduced from the previous version now it does also come with a little bit of hardware for you to install it onto the raspberry pi fortunately for me if you stick it into the gpio pins it is solid enough where i am not using it because i am actually plugging this to my 10 inch raspberry pi rack and if i was to mount the raspberry pi to the rack then i don't have any screw holes to mount the actual hat onto that if that makes sense but ultimately this is a perfect combination for anything server related or if you're using digital signage you don't have to run a power cord you can just run everything through the network port now one of the coolest things that i was attempting with this guy was since this new one actually provides more power i was going to see if i could actually power another raspberry pi just using one poe hat and sure enough it does work i mean this is not the best way to do it because there's no regulators or anything so you might blow it out by accident but yes, you can actually power another Raspberry Pi through this Pi hat on the first Raspberry Pi. So I thought that was pretty cool. Now this is also backwards compatible, so you could use this on the Raspberry Pi 3 as well as the Raspberry Pi 4. And I am lucky enough that Raspberry Pi actually sent me two, so I could actually finish my 10 inch rack project over here and then finish completing the rest of my 10 inch server rack itself. So even though it's the same size fan as the previous version, they did change the fan it out itself and they did fix that problem as well. So now the fan is actually extremely quiet. So I'm gonna play you a little clip here and see if you could even hear it. It actually works as it should. It's actually powerful enough to power another Raspberry Pi and it came just in time for me to play around with this on my 10 inch server rack project. Now I'm going to leave all the links down in the description below as far as the announcement from Raspberry Pi Foundation and also where you could get yours. If you have any questions about this, leave it down in the comments below. If you guys are new to this channel, consider subscribing. Also hitting that bell notification icon so you know when the next video is going to be out. And as I say in my nerd cave, hack till it hurts.